Yeah, hello everybody. Morning, or evening, back here again as always. And um, I once again have Mashika Mianowski with me. And as you can tell, based on the header of this video, we're briefly going to discuss um, uh, raising one's power level. Uh, again, it might be a Dragon Ball Z reference for people that are familiar with Dragon Ball Z, but um, it's not just that, okay? Don't think too much of it. Don't think too much of it within a geeky-like context. This is completely in a non-geeky and totally cool way. Uh, this is purely spoken for, or this is purely for magicians, generally speaking. Now, when I say um, raising your power level to max levels, I simply mean that uh, I already did a video, uh, power levels explained in detail. You can wait until the end screen or uh, check the link in the description of this video for that video if you want to watch that. And I'd recommend that you watch that first and then you come and watch this if you want to do things in a correct order. But feel free to also watch this all the same. Uh, it's not an issue or a big deal or anything like that. Now, I was simply going to say that keeping that in mind, the aforementioned in mind, uh, from a magician's perspective, um, raising your power level is just that. It's raising your ma your maximum potential, the strength you have uh, expressed in expressed in numbers on a scale of 0 to 100 and beyond 100, obviously, just no numerically based. And... Um, how you do it is similar to people that are familiar with Dragon Ball Z, similar to power-ups then. It's similar to, um, especially people that know the in and outings of a computer. They know that you can overclock a computer. For those of you that don't know what overclocking is, just people that are like technologically stupid, so to speak, or illiterate. It simply means that you can make your computer go to beyond its capacity, well beyond its capacity. Like essentially, you can make it go three to four to five times more than its maximum capability. Of course, the drawback with this is burnout, like literally burnout, actual burnout. Uh, another example I can give is like when your um, your natural body, your physical body, when you're in a state of danger, for example, you're somewhere in the woods and a bear attacks you or some predatory animal, you know, with all the damage that you sustain, you don't feel anything in that moment because your body it's going into a in, into survival as well as emergency mode. And it rushes, it floods your entire system with adrenaline and you don't feel anything. It doesn't matter how, how grievous your injuries are. It doesn't matter whether you're missing an entire arm. In that moment, you will not feel it. It's only like when the danger has passed, like you managed to kill the bear or you managed to flee and you're a safety that your body is like, oh, okay, we're safe again. So yeah, we can go back to normal and you go back into your normal state. You're essentially base form, if you will. And that's when shit is really going to hurt immensely because that's when your body's going to remind you, okay, we're missing an arm, blood loss might collapse now, like that. So uh, it's the same thing. Um, as a magician, you have the capability. I'm not saying that you should do so or try to do so. Careful, you should really take careful care with this or you should take care with this in a proportionate sense because same way as in the way you can overclock a computer, what do you think happens? Despite the fact that you can do so, most people don't overclock their computer because what happens is that it will become tremendously unstable because it has to go to above maximum levels all the time. So what's going to happen is that literally only in a couple of hours or less even, your computer is going to start malfunctioning, it's going to overheat, shit's going to break, all the components are going to get fried and it just goes on. Essentially, it's only like, like I said, a disaster scenario um, measure that you could apply if you absolutely need it. And even then, it's only for like a minute or so. That's it. But the rest don't make a habit out of it. So it's the same thing. The same way that your physical body doesn't literally flush adrenaline through you every single time that some small stuff happens. No, nah, it's only for life and death emergencies because afterwards, you're going to experience one hell of a crash and it's going to hurt. Your entire body is going to hurt and it's going to feel like you're literally weighed down by a thousand pounds and you're going to collapse to the ground, honestly. That's why you're seeing usually people that, for example, get attacked, uh, miners, hitchhikers and stuff like that. These guys get attacked by bears and they manage to miraculously survive like a guy that managed to kill a bear. By the time they find him, the guy's like completely, <laughs> the guy can barely move. He's nothing. He's like a heap of, a lump of clay or similar that's it so the same concept applies and um, as a magician you have the ability to raise your power level way past its maximum so let's just say a magician that was a power level eight on a scale of zero to ten he can surpass ten on average he can go to like a 16 or anything like that but 
my point is she shouldn't make a habit of it because being in that heightened, ultra heightened state will essentially just in you. It'll, if you sustain that form for lo- over a minute or so, it's going to cause tremendous mental instability and you're going to start crashing like burnout completely. And you're going to be unable to do something for like a day even or two. It will take you a couple of days to recover fully. And it's almost like traumatizing your astral body because what's going to happen, your energy is going to become like briefly scared to even go higher because it will remember the trauma of what happened. It's like when you put your hand over a hot stove and you burn your hand, you never forget, you know that what's going to happen if you do it again. So you don't do it anymore. So like that. So it can be done, but you need to be, like I said, you need to be very careful with it. It's like weightlifting. When you, last example, it's like weightlifting. When you lift weights and you, um, in the beginning, when you've never lifted a weight in your life, even two pounds will hurt. Like a simple bicep training, two pounds will be brutal, you know, because it's only this small section of your, your arm that is doing the lifting that's enduring that two pounds, so one kilogram. But after a while, you get used to it. So technically or theoretically, in that same context, you can like, for example, practicing raising your power level up to maximum levels. I'm not recommending you do so. You should do so with really, you should really need to be careful and be proportionate in someone or you can like, for example, ask someone like me, someone that's knowledgeable on the subject and can tell you whether it's safe or not and what the frequency is. But theoretically, you can do it the same way as weightlifting. And thereby your power level will naturally increase because you're forcing yourself spiritually or you're essentially uh, training yourself, better said, to to go past your limits, your natural limitations or your established limitations, more the, the latter than the former, your established limitations. And um, like I said, a magician that's a power level eight, he can like, if when he trains himself and he like keeps going to 16, like, and he's careful about it. He does it once a week, for example, and he only does it like for a minute, the way he's supposed to do it. He only maintains the heightened state for like a couple of seconds, half a minute to a minute at longest. Even a minute is too long, 30 seconds. And then he drops it immediately carefully. His astral body is going to get used to it. His energy is going to get used to that heightened state and his power level will increase drastically. It's like, metaphorically speaking, it's like a shortcut to attaining a higher power level. Um, and yeah, now Mashik, you can share any thoughts you have on the subject. Yeah, exactly. It's quite funny because, uh, I wasn't even remotely uh, aware that something like that even exists. I thought that it's only in cartoons such as Dragon Ball uh, Z or something, but yeah, it is possible. Of course, it is quite uh, dangerous, especially if you're going to increase it like multiple times. And you uh, also, you essentially, you get warnings from your Patreon that, yeah, this is not really good. You need, uh, you need to be very careful because you're not going to be like burnt out or something like that. But yeah, it is possible. But uh, the main thing is that, that you uh, can feel the warming from your uh, spine. And also mm, for any other things, you can also mm, have some symptoms like, for example, temporarily your sight can be a little bit blurred or something like that. But of course, this is like a drawback, essentially, to increasing, because you literally increase uh, uh, your power level and your astral masses, muscles to the mm, going something more heavier than you used to I don't know, do on a day-to-day basis. But mm-hmm. Yeah, this is possible. Yeah, for people that are wondering, I... Um... I came up with this idea because he did it just now under my guidance. And I essentially told him, like, seriously, you had no idea that you could do this. And I explained it to him and I told him, let's try it right now. Mashik's base form, so his base power level is 525, so 525. That's with working with me and paying me for power boosts and stuff like that. That's the level that he, up to present date, managed to attain. And um, I told him, yeah, you can go past it. And I briefly checked for myself. I simply went like this. Show me what Mashik's maximum you know, power level is with like when he raises it as high as possible. And I saw that. And I told him his max essentially is uh, 2,500. But I didn't tell him that. I only told him that after we were done. And I told him, okay, just like I instructed you, raise it as high as possible. But in the beginning, he was like a bit of, a little afraid. And his patron, the Infernal Spirit, Lucifer Future of Occult, also spoke to me and I was like, no, it's not a big deal. You know, 
it's uh there is a minor risk associated with it but it's fine the benefit outweighs the drawback metaphorically speaking but that doesn't mean that he should make a habit of it and um i told him after i gave him the necessary and the aforementioned instructions and he raised it and he himself has no idea how much he raised how much he raised it because in his state he doesn't have the advanced faculties needed spiritually to be able to perceive his own heightened power level when he was at his peak and to his surprise because i saw that he was able to reach it before he lost focus he was able to, because just like he said he like kept hearing warnings in his head and it made him doubt himself and i told him prior it's not you don't have to worry there's nothing to be aware, afraid of you can just go and i'll tell you when to stop and he managed to to, to raise it to 1900 so that's like three times approximately three times his base form so that's still quite impressive and just like he said he feels like his entire spine is on fire essentially or like it's really hot like when you drink really hot coffee in one gulp and you can feel it traveling down your esophagus and your digestive tract into your stomach and whatnot and i told him 1900 is what you reach before you lost um, thingy, before you lost focus and your maximum is 2500 and all the stuff I, of course, mentioned earlier that, of course, you're not supposed to make a habit out of this, but all the stuff I said that you can technically speaking train yourself, it depends on your personality as well and other related um, uh, other related faculties. But in his case specifically, he is metaphorically at a disadvantage based on his personality, but only metaphorically um, and only up to a minimal extent. My point is, in general, the average person theoretically can like do the aforementioned and thereby automatically raise their power level. It's like a, it's almost like a metaphorical shortcut to um, to a swift rise to power, literally and figuratively speaking, as a magician, as someone that works with energy by default. But um, uh, but of course, it's not recommended that you do so. You really, you really need to be careful with stuff like this. Um, now, anyways, that's it. That's all I have to say. That's simply an extension to power levels and, and how to raise them. Uh, and just an extension to the whole concept of power levels. Um, before I go, um, I don't know, Mashik, do you have something left to add or similar? Essentially, I would try to uh, warn people that not be enough stupid to essentially try to even remotely reach power levels more than that because you won't be able to do so even remotely, so don't even try to do so. Mm, yeah, don't be too spiritually greedy. Yeah. Okay, and that's all, guys. Um, see you next time. Bye.